Welcome back to our channels, Warriors. We are still growing. If you haven't had the Swanson Man, smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and have him smash it right now. First and foremost, let me give a shout out to the newest and following patrons. Mika Boy, Ramon, Lead With Love, Johnny, Charles, Albert 12, Soul Star LA, my Tokayo Hector, Coach Ken, Miguel L, AI Vega, Fio, Claudia, Esquiel, Miguel, Let Our Actions Lead Under the Christ, Big Bad 48, Nova, Jack, Linda, Michigan Wolverines, Marius, Chevelle 66, Gigi, Abuelita's Journey, and Dallas Herrero. If you have not already signed up for that Patreon, as you can see, the list is getting bigger and bigger. You do not want to miss out. Hit that link in the description below. This episode right here, man. <laughs> I've kind of been hinting. i kind of been dropping gems on... Uh, this one's going to be about a guy named Greñas, man. Wow. This one's a doozy. You get to work with different people of all kinds, man. You get you really get to work with some winners in the California Department of Corrections, where I happened to work <laughs> for 16 years as an officer, a sergeant, and a lieutenant. So here we go. When I first met Greñas, man, I was brand spanking you, Charlie Jim. He kind of talked like this. Hey, G, you're doing it right, G. You're young, you're 22 years old, you're good looking, G. You're making a lot of money, G. <laughs> I'm like, all right, all right. Uh, all right, all right, man. I, I get it, I get it, right? That was the beginning, right? That was just the beginning. <laughs> that was just the tip so to say so <clears throat> I had this dude for block training annual block training we all get together it once a year for a whole week we go eight to four we quarterly we qualify with our weapon systems we learn relearn all the policies right anything new that's come about stuff like that well I had Grenas in that class man and it never failed. For every single year, he would be like, Hey, do you have any band-aids, G? I'd be like, for what, bro? For these cuts, G. And he, would and he would proceed to show us his forearm and his definitions of cuts, right? Wow. So, you know, it's like, oh, man, G. Wow, G. <laughs> oh, Lee, G. <laughs> Well, well, I had a friend, right? For the sake of this video, we're going to call this guy Troy. My buddy Troy, right? Um, Troy was a very fit individual, right? Troy was a former Marine. <laughs> Troy, Troy had a chiseled jawline, right? Troy had a six-pack. <laughs> Troy was sleeved out, right? Tattooed, sleeved, back. like, golly gee, right? I, to me, it's just a homie, right? Dude is a dude, right? To Grenas, he was everything. That a, <laughs> he was everything that a man should be, right? The essence of a man, right? So. It was no surprise, it was no secret that the homie Greñas really, really was into the homie Troy, right? <laughs> Again, I'm using a fictional, na a fictional name here, Troy. <laughs> so, here we go. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I kid you not, man. I already told you your boy... Learned the ropes on the level four general population yard, right? Sentinella, Charlie, I already told you guys that. <laughs> Following along thus far. <laughs> I kid you not, man. This had to have been Charlie 3. Building 3. Okay, 270 design. You On one side, you got the counselor's office. You come in through the rotunda. On one side, you got the counselor's office. On the other side, you have the officer's office where you... Uh, Hang out there, right? Downtime. 
if there's even any more downtime. At that time, there was some downtime. 2000, I don't even know, man. 2009, 10-ish by this time, right? <clears throat> Dude starts talking to me. We're partners, right? We're partners. That's what partners do. You guys over, we wonder what the lobsters be talking about in there, in the office. We be seeing you guys, right? We see you guys laughing, right? We see you guys with your phones. What the hell you guys be talking about? I'm about to tell you what the hell Grandjaz was talking about that day. So here we go. This is how the whole conversation went in the morning. First thing, 0600 hours, man. Hey, G, you ever work out with Troy G? Like, yeah, man, I actually, yeah, I actually have worked out with him. But golly, G, you ever see him without his shirt, G? Um, yeah, I think I did. Yeah, we did a mud run one time, like Spartan race. Yeah. Oh, está cortado, G. <laughs> Hold on, right? It's like, man, it's too early for this. I haven't even had my chanate yet or my cup of coffee, right? I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, oh. yeah, it, it, it becomes tense now, right? In this little office. This is a small office, man. You could probably touch the, so the walls, right? You got two dudes in here. One guy's talking about another guy without his shirt. And now he's ripped, right? <laughs> We're putting an emphasis on it. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm like, all right. He goes, oh, man, G, and his tattoos, G. Have you seen his tattoos, G? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, the dude's fucking sleeved out for sure. Oh, G. He has that beautiful skin color that makes the tattoos pop, G. I'm like, all right, bro, that's enough. I got to go do a security check. I shit you not. I get up <laughs> and I start in whatever that cell is, 106, and I start going 107, 108, 109. Just security check, right? So the way a security check looks in the building, two partners start off. Make sure you look, make sure nobody's hanging overdosed over the night. Murdered, right? Uh, Jaime Osuna chopped off his cellmate's head, Corcoran. Anything, any out of the funny business, right? So I'm like, oh, nah, man, this is not, this is, this is the beginning of the shift. Like, this is the beginning of the shift, right? <laughs> I got to call the homie Troy. Troy worked Bravo Yard, right? I knew this. <laughs> we kind of know where our homies work. So I call this dude up, and I'm like, hey, man, did you know that this dude is all about you, bro? He's like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. So, he's like, I got a story to tell you. I'm like, what is it, bro? Just fucking tell me right now. <clears throat> right, so he proceeds to tell me that <laughs> one day, my boy Troy was off work, right? Off RDO's regular days off, chilling at his pad, 7 o'clock in the morning. Fucking sun's coming up, right? And then he gets a text from Grenyas, and it says, Hey, G, what are you doing? fucking right to text about sleeping what's up hey i was driving by uh, <laughs> hey i was driving by your neighborhood right and i noticed that your palm trees were overgrown man you you would you mind if i come over and and and, and uh groom your palm trees and he's like the fuck like yeah man <laughs> go ahead bro whatever yeah he's like mm -hmm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> He said he jumped out of bed. No shit. No shit. The homie, the homie was out there with a chainsaw ready to go at 7 in the morning outside of Troy's house, man. Wow. The message, the message for the day is. <laughs> well, the message for the day is, right? You just got to be cautious on who you work around, right? Because. <laughs> Because, <laughs> because I guess later on in life, right, later on years past, your boy promoted to Donovan, 
right? Miserable ass sergeant, your boy, miserable ass lieutenant, can't even drink coffee and watch Amazon Prime, right? <laughs> no shit. I'm in RR, right? Do I have a watch commander? And I recognize this big, cool, tall white boy. It's a CO from Sentinella. A lot of time in. I said, like, hey, what's up, dude? He was dropping off an me from Sentinella over to Donovan. Hey, what's up, bro? What's going on? Oh, you know, just chilling, but drop, doing a drop-off. Couldn't see you. He's like, hey, did you hear what happened to so-and-so? I'm like, no, nah, what happened, bro? <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh, no, man. No. No, no. This guy got caught in the act, right? <laughs> Giving a masapan, right? A masapan to somebody he should not have been giving one to, right? <laughs> oh shit! I gotta, I, I gotta do a part two. Keep pushing forward. <laughs>